Hello, welcome back with Tanya's Art. This is a new pro project I'm starting and this is around 60 by 60 centimeters. You can see that I have some put on some lines, but I'm not sure if I'm going to follow them. Uh, this is the first time I try this kind of project. Uh, I saw it on YouTube and the lady, I don't know uh, who it was, but I put the name in the video. Uh, used the ground dieren zwart and black and uh, that's xl uh, crackle paste i will show you the, the other jar it's a big one xl crackle paste structure paste and that is how it seems to look so i'm going to try that uh, uh, starting with uh, part a i have never done it never done it before so it's a uh, Really exciting to start with something like that, it's something new. Just go for it. And I think I have to use a smaller one just to make the first strokes. Uh, I have seen that this, that you can not put all the 60 centimeters in one with the black because it will dry very fast. So I'm taking my time and I hope I'm doing it right because I have to buy it. I did buy this in Germany. And let me see if I can make this work. Let's just do it. Not too much. And the second layer that is brown is going to be up on the black. I don't have to use that much because it's going to dry too fast. So I have to hurry up a little bit, not go too far. Just the first time, so I'm learning. I'm learning. Maybe it's nice that you can learn with me. And there's a lot of videos that uh, artists you Oh, sorry. I pushed the, the standard. I'm sorry. Okay, let's try the second layer now because it's going to dry very fast. I have told. They have told. Okay. Let me see if I can do this. Of course I can do this. Why is it black over there? Okay. I have to take it up so I can make the edge. Hmm. It's black, I don't know why. Maybe it's too much black, that's possible makes big cracks so I hope I do it right so another one again it's the first time so I literally don't know what I'm doing just following in my Instincts on this. Turn it a little bit. That is not too much. Don't want to contaminate the other color. I think I do, but. I hope it's not too much. The 
can do this in any kind of way you want, I think. It has to be a little bit thick because it's necessary to get real big cracks. So this is uh, part one of the video. I, I hope I'm doing it correctly. I just going to fill in all the way around and you will be back at the next stage. I will tell you a little bit about it. Not too, too long because I have to hurry, I think. This is the silver, uh, the gold glass rocks that I will put in on this edge here. And the next stage, I just don't know. I go along as I go along and um, I make a picture of a video when it's all around. But I want to take my time, so I see you when I get there. Hi. Nice to see you again. Um, I've put all the crackle effects around the edge of my 60 centimeters MDF board. Um, I hope I did it correctly. I just put, put my cake spinner in, uh, under it so it's easier for me to work with. Uh, I don't know what the effect will be. Uh, it is all, yeah, I have to wait. And uh, maybe tomorrow, that for me is a Sunday, it's uh, it's hard and it's crackled. The paint that I want to use is the deep turquoise uh, on the crackle, in the crackle. I want to try the gold, but my gold was, uh, my gold alcohol ink was, uh, yeah, finished. I didn't have it anymore. So I ordered some more. I hope I will get it today. If not, I just paint the edge uh, with the turquoise and uh, hopefully hopefully, I can put the gold in between. Uh, the golden um, gloss, sorry for my hands, uh, yeah, will be like so, darker I hope. But my piñata ink was, uh, alcohol ink was, uh, well, I didn't have it anymore so I've ordered some more and hopefully it will be here on time, hopefully today. And, um, maybe next week so i will make the video part three i will uh, let you show everything i do i hope you like it so far it's not very much to see yet but i hope it will be great so see you next time bye Hello, welcome back to Tanya's Art. Well, as you can see, I have here a 60 centimeters round MDF board. Um, I thought I have it level. Let me see if it is. Sorry, I have to take my um, instrument to make sure it is level. Yes, it is. Happy for that. Well, this is a challenge because I've never done this, uh, something like this before. Uh, I like a challenge, but it takes me a lot of time to figure out what I want to do with it. So it took me about, well, a week, five days um, to figure out what I want to do with the middle. The outside, I own you already. This is the epoxy uh, resin from Let's Resin, ratio A uh, one to one. That's a very nice uh, epoxy of resin. It, I think it is a little bit medium thick, but it, it's very uh, bubble free. So I like that. Let me see if I can show you what I use. This is eye candy from Just Resin. It's a really, really beautiful color. It started to getting warm, so I have to hurry up. Just Resin. And then candy blue. I hope you can see it. I'm just going to make that my base color. And I hope I have enough. I do think so. hope you can see the color. It's really beautiful. Really, really, really. And it will pop with the turquoise. I already show you. For which brand the XL crackle paste is. 
And I'll take some pictures maybe of the products that I use. Concerning the crackle paste. All right, that's finished. I hope I can spread this out. Maybe I just have to turn it around. Not with a stick, but with my hands. And they are sticky, so I'm not sure if it's gonna work. I put some alcohol on my hands. And let's go if I can make it work like this. Just like a acrylic pour, right? <laughs> I hope we have enough. If I don't, I make more. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I think you do. I have to watch my design. I don't want it to get into the little gravity. So you see here the openings of the XL, but maybe I cannot. Okay, a little bit more on this side. Hope you can see what I'm doing. Yes, you can. Oh, not too fast. I think I will put, I will use a stick for the rest. Yes, you can see what I'm doing. All right, well, it's thick enough that I can feel and if I need a second layer, I will, but I think I need a second layer because it's very thin. I didn't know how much I need for that, for this project, so I just tried. But I will first put the second layer, the first layer on. I use 200 and A for A and 200 uh, grams for B. And maybe I think I need another, maybe 200 total or 250. I don't know yet. So, but if I make more, then my colors that I have now will, will set off, maybe, I don't know, I don't hope so, but they will get thick. Um, so it's a little bit of a challenge again. <laughs> That's my second name, challenge. Maybe I don't need any more. Hopefully it will. If I can only put a little bit more in those holes. I think I just have, just don't have enough because this is a little bit lighter okay i have to come back and make some more i have to do it very quickly because my other colors will go off anyway so i will write back hi <coughs> i'm back again sorry let me see if i can take this out oh that's because of the base uh, i can see something here as well all right I'm glad I make something some uh, some more because the layer is too thin, and I just make 170 uh, 47 A and also 147 of B. I hope it is enough because my A is finished. So I have to buy some more later. <coughs> Sorry again. I'm just gonna dump this in and hopefully it is enough and make it a little bit more darker because i could see the the base side of the mdf board 
at the level itself, but help it a little bit to go around. looks good it's covered I don't see the base anymore I think that will be enough I've put this MDF board on my cake spinner so I can turn it a little bit easier of course. I just wipe my sticks and let's go to the second part and that's simply a torch. Please work. <laughs> Touch out of bubbles. Maybe I need a little bit bigger torch. That's a creme brulee. That bigger, bigger flame. Oh, well, I saw that. There's something falling off my torch. Right. Got it. Now, um, this is a little bit exciting too, because I've never done it before. My first color is um, the gold. From uh, Colorberry. That's this color. I hope you can see it. It's a really nice color. Shines beautiful, sparkly. And this is my one of my favorites that is silk uh, resin. Silk purple, sorry from Just Resin and this is the green. I never have shown you this color before, so I will show you. I hope it is, uh, the label is not so good visible for you, but it's turquoise. And uh, I tried a new color. Well, this is uh, eye candy, beige. Uh, it was a little bit expensive, but I just wanted to give it a, a go because I want to have some contrast. And the first idea that I had was that I want to make the base uh, beige, yeah? but no. But that's why I bought the eye candy. I cannot uh, get uh, a nice beige color in the Netherlands. There will be uh, like, uh, we call it fla. A little bit yellowish, uh, beige -ish. not the, the kind of color that I want. So I have searched the internet like crazy and I found eye candy. And I know eye candy is used in the, I think United States, I'm not sure. But I, I, do, I buy it for, make, well, try it. There's something in it again. Oh, the effect is beautiful. Okay, if I can take that out, I have to watch cross it. Yeah, a little bit of fluffies, but that's normal in summertime. Torch again, I see bubbles. Oh, this color is amazing. It really is. When it's dry, it's oh, beautiful. All right. I have taken two of my pellets knife to um, create some effects. Uh, the goal is to make a clock. And I'm not sure um, how to do this because it's my first time. I will put you a little bit aside. Sorry for the movement of the standard, but I have to have the space to 
make the waves that I want. I'm going to start with the gold. I hope you can see me trying this and I like to have a little bit of movement and dot here and then spread it out with my palette knife and a dot here and I spread or maybe one no not a big one a smaller one two small dots and make it like so I will hope I can <laughs> do it <laughs> okay let's just do it and make different colors just a little bit of try i just want to try it i have a lot of ideas but i put it in practice i can i can mm -hmm. maybe a little bit Just a little bit gold. I think the eye candy is really present. Okay. Whew. Uh, take a paper towel, sorry. Right now, let's see what I can do. Uh, I just want to make the movement like so. Just a little movement. It's working. I'm glad I did. <laughs> okay, another movement over here. Just like that. Not too much, not too little. I hope you can I can see it. And maybe a little bit more. Now I've tried a little, I can take some more. The turquoise is really beautiful, I see. Just want to make a little accent. And that's all I will do. And then I put the pointers in. And Maybe a top coat, I'm not sure. I don't think so. It is, I don't think it is necessary. And I love the, the rough edges. Uh, okay, let's do it. The effect will go also here. I think that's a little bit too much. I don't want that a blob. Uh, all right. one hole so I lose the blood I think that's nice I love that side want to make a little bit more over here but I'm afraid that I will not be able to pick up the same line but this one is nicer than this one so I will give it a go I will try it a little bit more than the first time okay Purple. The colors of Colorberry are just divine, really they are. Well, I found the powder, Mika powders, oh, they don't, I don't can, I cannot buy them in the Netherlands, so I have to buy on Amazon, I'm really happy that I can do so. So, let me try the second one. I hope it's going to work. Um, okay, come on. I like 
like that. I don't want to ruin that. But maybe. Alright. It looks if it's going to sink. But I don't want the round. That's nice. Maybe a little bit I can need for the contrast. Just a little bit. That's what I mean. I think this will do. Mm, don't know if I like that. That's better. Um. Oh, I get cells. Well, that's a surprise. Hmm. Nice. Thank you, eye candy. <laughs> Maybe a drop more and you also and a little bit more gold. I don't see the purple back but maybe that's because the color, the base color is a little bit dark. I hope I don't that's the standard. Oh. oh, that's good. I think I'll leave it at. I love it like this. I have some resin left, but that's okay. I think I have uh, my first idea was to put some lines over there um, I can see there's something showing up over there but put some lines over there um, but I just want to make it a little bit visible and not too visible and I think I have done that I hope the effect will be nice do I can see a little bit of cells here I hope you can see it I will put my glass off so I give you uh, a view from up close. Don't. All right. I, ho I hope you can see it. That's the cells that I can give me. Thank you, I candy. It's a little bit, not much, but a little bit. I hope you find it interesting. Uh, th sorry for the glare here. I'll put this away i hope you can see it it's not much light in this corner of my room but maybe i have some put some more in it because it seems to be sinking but that's what i'm going to do off camera i need some more space to try this out i still have some resin left so i hope you like this part and I think to have to put a little bit clearer layer on, but I will figure it out when I get there. Um, yes, I have to put some more in it, I think. All right. It's Gonski. See it? Here you can see a little, but here it's minimal. All right, I will go and do that uh, by myself. I hope you have a nice day. And see you next time. Bye-bye. With the same video, of course. <laughs> see you later. Bye.